Holy crap, guys, we actually did it. We did 50 cow runs. Each run took approximately eight minutes each, and it took about, eh, about eight or nine hours to complete all these runs. So we're just going to be going over all the loot that I was able to capture during these runs. Uh, I do want to note I have three mid-80 level characters. Uh, I got a Hammered In, a Javazon, and a Light Source. I did all 50 cow runs using my Hammered In, who has the most magic find. Currently, my Hammered In has 279% better chance of getting magic items. So with that 279% boost, he was the best candidate for getting the best loot possible. So we're going to dive into all that, and if you guys do want to see my gear, stay tuned till the end of the video. I'll show you guys my little gear review. So first up, I got a co-rune for my first drop. That was actually something okay. And again, this is a mid-tier rune, so it's really not like the best thing that I'm going to get. But I get so many runes throughout this video, I just want to showcase all of them because it was a lot. Here I dropped a new little ort rune, but I just want you to keep in mind I'm already on run number 10 and I haven't really gotten anything to show for it. Um, unfortunately in these cow runs, it's really hard to get any decent armor. Your best odds of getting anything good are going to be jewelry and runes. So yeah, that's, that's kind of the bummer because a lot of the nice things that you would like to get like in bale runs are going to be armor and weapons and there's just not a lot of that in cow runs. I'm actually really happy at this moment here. So right in the same vicinity, I drop that beautiful looking unique ring. I'm already excited to identify that. And then I also get that Lem rune. So it's kind of like a good two in one little loot streak there. So, um, and as you can see, when we identify it, it's Raven Frost which actually is a really good high-end ring to carry because of the cannot be frozen. It's really helpful when you're doing runs where there's freezing involved, like bale runs and even cow runs, honestly, you can get frozen. So having that Raven Frost will protect you from that. So here we got two nice little drops. I got the Am rune and I also just dropped the Shale rune. So those are two really good runes to have, even though they're kind of lower mid-tier runes. Um, they're excellent and used in a lot of things like Call to Arms and Peace. Call to Arms is essential for any high level end game uh, players because it's going to give you those barbarian shouts which help insanely and again another lower mid tier rune we dropped the thul rune and finally we're actually pulling our best rune yet it's a pull rune this is actually a very nice rune to have so i was really happy to get this one and i killed this little lonely cow here he got lost from the herd and he drops me a nice soul rune so i really like that cow he's a good guy and what do you expect another rune we get the foul rune this time and right here we drop an ith rune just a quick update by the way we're on cow run number 22 at this point and it's already been four and a half hours but it's really fun actually Actually doing crowd control and just killing a ton of cows with hammers so i actually enjoyed this entire process i know a lot of people just get tired of the grind but it was a fun time like i got some cool stuff i was also looking for a bunch of good socket options because i wanted to get some really nice bases that i could put some awesome rune words into so just to update real quick on the past clips i got a perfect magic find seven percent charm so happy with that i'm going to keep that in my inventory always and then i also dropped this dragon shield so this is just an example of all the crappy uniques that i've been getting I mean, it has that nice all resistance bonus, but it's really just a bad shield. I just wanted to point out the unique weapons and armors that I've been getting. Like I mentioned, they're all doo-doo. It's only jewelry and runes that are good in cow runs, basically. So here's another bad war axe that I found that's unique. So again, another prime example. And we drop another shale rune. And right here's a soul rune. And right here we drop a nef rune. And honestly, I think I've had a nef of all these bad runes. All right, that's enough bad dad jokes for me. But right here we drop a Rao rune, so we'll just add that to the full alphabet of bad runes that we have. And right here we drop the lowest rune in the game, an L rune. At this point, I think hell mode cows just hate me. Because, I mean, seriously, I'm in hell mode and you're dropping me the very entry level rune. So mean. And right here we identify a small charm and you know what? We'll take it. It's a 5% magic find. It's definitely a really good uh, temporary rune to have until I get like max inventory of small 7% magic find runes. Right here I'm identifying a ton of garbage set items. I'm not even sure why. And we pick up an eth rune. And we drop an ort rune. I'm actually happy with this rune. I actually got a lem rune which is a decent higher mid tier rune so we're good with that one. And it's no burr or jaw rune but hey we got another pull rune. We'll take it. Another low low tier rune so we get an eth rune but you know what maybe we can make something decent with it. A lot of those higher rune words still use like those lower tier runes so we'll keep it anyways and right here we drop a unique razor bow but it's crap 
And we actually drop another unique ring, so that's awesome. I'm excited, as always, to identify those, because they can be amazing sometimes. But by this one, we actually ended up getting the Dwarf Star, which isn't really a bad ring at all. It's actually amazing if you have a Barbarian, uh, like a Gold Find Barbarian, because it gives you 100% extra Gold Find. So that's pretty nice, actually, in my opinion. So now we are actually closing in to the end of the runs. Uh, we're on Cal Run number 41, and we drop a Tau Rune. So... We'll just add that to the collection. Another low rune, we drop a tier rune. Big milestone here, we actually get our millionth soul rune, so that's always good. I keep every skiller that we get, and here we got a grand charm with uh, war cries for barbarians. Uh, I would have wanted it to be a combat skill. You always want those combat skills, but it is what it is. So here's one of the better unique armors, and even this one really isn't that good. It's a unique kraken shell, so it's at least a higher... Um, rarity in the terms of its tier so that's kind of nice but again I mean it has over a thousand defense but it's just not really all all that good all right so here's literally the last little highlight I don't know if it's even much of a highlight I drop a Thul rune here but just want to put something in there at cow run number 49 50 was a dud we didn't get anything good there uh, but yeah guys that basically concludes the cow runs I'm going to showcase my um, you know my armor and stuff like that just so you guys can take a look at what I was rocking while I was doing all these cow hell runs. All right guys, so first up, I'm gonna show you guys my Heart of the Oak. So just a nice all around skiller, gives you plus three to all skills and faster cast rate. So you do wanna be castrated, you know? I <laughs> also got this Harlequin Crest. Uh, I threw an Ist in there just to give it a bonus 25%, a better magic find. So 75% magic find on that crest. Uh, I got Mara's Kaleidoscope just for the plus two to all skills and the resistance. Got the Herald of Zakarum, which gives you two bonus combat skills. Good for your hammers with that. Plus plus two to all paladin skills. So actually getting plus four to your hammers, which is an awesome, awesome shield for a hammered in. We're rocking the Enigma Dusk Shroud. So uh, yeah, pretty self-explanatory there. It's just so I can teleport everywhere. Gives you way faster run walk speed. Gives you a huge bonus to your magic find. We got 86% bonus magic find um and stuff like that so very nice um body and then we got the shoes i actually found this in the run i don't know why i didn't put this in there but i'm carrying it because it has a 25 percent magic find and the run walk is also decent at plus 30 that's really the main reason there i got two rings i'm rocking the nagel ring for the magic find 29 percent bonus there and we're rocking the plus one to all skills bull Kathos wedding band so uh, yeah, and we have the Arachnid Mesh, again, just for faster cast rate and plus one to all skills and plus 20% faster cast rate on our Mage Fist. So all in all, I am getting, I think, 80%. Let's see. Yeah, 80% cast rate. So you want at least 75% for Hammered In because that's a break point. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the highlights. If you guys want to see me do a bunch of chaos runs, bail runs, I'll do a hundred of those or whatever. Uh, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out for now.